Hello, I am back to talk about some Sephora items I bought recently and to share some of my faves. On our perfume uh, gift set. I love the packaging. Let's look at this. Oh, look how cute this is. This makes a great gift, I think, for a perfume lover or anyone who likes to carry perfumes with them all the time in the purse. So this one is, I don't know what this one's called. This one is Libre. Eau de Parfum. This is 10 mLs and it's a spray mini. This one, of course, is my favorite. This is uh, Black Opium and this is Mon Paris. And these are dabbers. So this is the only one that's a spray. So I'm going to try it because I don't know. I, I didn't never tried Libre. 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 What am I saying in Spanish? It's Libre. Freedom. Free? I should know this. I'm in Quebec. Hello. Okay, this is taking longer than usual. Just hold on. Why won't it come out? Okay, seriously? Like, me and packaging. It's just... Like, seriously, it's really stuck in there. Like, this is like safe proof. I'm not making this up. Look at that. I'm like... <laughs> it won't come out oh finally jeez okay oh 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 i smell like an adult an adult woman <laughs> a mature but not like over 60 woman <laughs> you know what i'm saying Oh, this is like for an evening out or a very work office appropriate. Like this is this is the impression I have when I smell it. it smells sophistication, like a mature, sophisticated adult. <laughs> Look how cute this is. This is Mon Paris. Oh, like I thought they would have at least some writing on it to, to tell me what the perfume is. It's like it's just a plain old bottle, but there's no logo or anything. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Still smells sweet. This one smells musky and creamy. And the dry down. And oh like this one definitely berry sweet. Yeah, I get flirty, sweet, you know, for a date. Okay, and of course, my favorite, oh, my favorite, all-time favorite perfume that I would wear, like, for evenings. I find it, it screams bad boss, you know, <laughs> bad boss, like, hot sexy uh nighttime perfume if i can take it out of the damn box like i don't understand like why do they make it so hard oh, let me pop oh it smells so good oh yeah mm. come on seriously okay um hold Okay, now this is getting ridiculous. Like, I really have to use a scissor to get this thing? Like, so here, I think this is 10 mLs. Black opium. Oh, this is my favorite scent. It's 7.5, yeah, mLs, 7.5 mLs, and it's a dabber. This is the scent that you want to wear when you just want to exude sexy, raw vibes, date night evening out you're just you know you're on top of the world you know who you are that's what this exudes <laughs> why am i so aggressive <laughs> oh you know it's just scream sexiness yeah love it oh love it. next i bought a long lasting eyeshadow pencil and I decided to give Sephora brand a go. So this is the 
Sephora colorful shadow and liner and apparently it's waterproof. So I bought the color dark brown matte number 24. So it's a chubby pencil that what the hell? Is this a Like I just opened it up and where's the bullet? I'm not making this shit up. Like seriously. I just opened the packaging and and there's like nothing. Is this stuck in here? Okay, I'm not very happy right now. Okay. I managed to sharpen it. Um and what I don't like is that it's really creamy that it's easy to break off. So I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try this on, uh, let's see, on my lower lash line. Oh wow, yeah, it's very creamy, as you can see. Very creamy, I like this brown, this is a great brown. It's not too red, not too, oops, sorry, sun isn't, not too red. Um, it's really a true matte brown, which I like. Yeah, you know what? I could smudge it. Time to blend. So there, I have a little cat eye going on here. This is my go-to look now. This kind of like the winged foxy eye. I love it. Okay. So there we have it. Okay. Starting to look alive. <laughs> so I, um, I really like this so far. It's creamy. It looks like I can smudge it. And uh, the only thing is the issue is sharpening it. It seems that if you're not careful, it will just break off. Okay, next, I did that. I got the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Clean Mascara uh, Tubing Mascara. Like I'm obsessed with tubing mascaras now because really they do not smudge, flake or run under my eyes uh, and I've tried Blink and Tarte and so far Tarte is definitely in my opinion better than than Blink in terms of lengthening my lashes and uh, not very like very much volumizing but lengthening is Tarte is pretty good so oh, I can't use this right now because I'm wearing my falsies oops sorry but yeah, apparently this has rave reviews on Sephora, so I decided to give it a try. I got, I bought the sample first. I, I always buy the sample first to test it out. Okay. So here is the bristles. Can you focus, please? Uh, the Jizu Honey Infused Limited Edition uh, Hair Care Set. Oh, here we go by Jizu. And the reason why I caved in and bought the set was because I went in one day to Sephora and my hair was like, look at it, it's like dry because I color my hair and it's just dry, it's damaged, it looks blah, there's no shine, it just looks blah. And I tried their Jizu hair oil, honey infused hair oil. I was hooked because it smelled so good. I love the packaging and it looked like it really smoothed my hair and made it look, you know, healthy and shiny. Here, I'll show you. And obviously you don't need a lot. Oh yes, and I also bought the hair, the hair scent. It also comes in this kit. Yes, the honey infused hair perfume tra travel size. <gasps> it is, it smells so amazing, but it's expensive. <laughs> so I think the set was, oh my God. It smells, mm. okay, I don't know if you see a difference. Do you see it? It's my hair is like more, more smooth, more shiny. <laughs> I guess you don't see it, right? Doesn't it look less frizzy? So a little goes a long way. Next, I also tried Sephora's Strengthening Hair Serum, Fortify and Increase Density. And I've been trying this for, I think it's been a month. And although I try to be consistent, I'm not consistent, but I'm sold on this because my daughter, one day, she was just playing with my hair and she said, 
your hair feels thick. And I was like, oh, it must be the biotin. So this stuff you're, you're supposed to just, you know, apply it nightly on dry or damp hair. And then you massage the product. Like I was kind of bald in here. I should have taken before and after pictures, but it was like thinning. And now ever since I started using this, oh, there's my whites. Like you could see small hairs coming out. Anyways, I'm gonna keep on using it. You don't wash it out, you just keep it in. So I'm really liking this biotin hair density, strengthening hair serum. The Jizu set also had the honey infused leave-in conditioner. So this is like travel size. And I would say it is a good conditioner. Um, you know, it detangled my hair, it smoothed my hair, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't spend that much on a full price. I'm sure there's better products out there for decent price. And oh yes, mascara, like I said, one of my faves that I'm loving is the Tartelet Tubing Mascara. Of course I bought the mini version. You can see it. This really works. It lengthens my lashes. All right, where am I at now? Okay. <laughs> uh, Patrick Star. Okay, now, um, Patrick Star. Let's see. Um, I tried his one size secure the blur. Sorry, secure the blur magnet makeup magnet primer. I really like this because it's very grippy. You know, I don't like primers that are just just feels like a moisturizer. I have oily skin, so I want something that will grip my makeup, like Hydra. What was that? <laughs> what was that one from Primer by Milk? It feels like that after it, so it gets tacky. So it does help prolong my makeup and does fill in the pores, in my opinion. So I'm liking this, but I don't use a lot. I don't use it every day because it's like it's only 35 mLs. So I'm liking this, and I love his concealer. One size turn up the base concealer. I use this under my eyes. I would say it's in between thick and it's not very thick, it's not light. I guess it's it's in the meat in the middle, and it covers well. I I just have to make sure to apply a powder over it so that way, you know, it will last throughout the day. My all-time favorite. It's still Makeup Forever because it has a thicker texture. It's drier, and I don't even need to powder it. It just stays. So, but this is pretty good. It covers really well. Then. I also got the One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio in Very Fat. That. Very Fat. That. What's <laughs> wrong with me? And it has three blushes and a mirror. So this is like more like, sorry, um, like neutral tones. So it has a cream blush over here. Um, a matching blush and the shimmer highlighter and a little goes a long way like it like wow pigment is there it is there all right so I'll show you because let's start with a cream blush and it has the cover and it's called sugar baby I'm just gonna use my finger like I'm really pale see I just like dab it blends easily it's not like a very thick formula where it's dry and you have to like, you know, no. So there you go. I like that it comes in a mirror, but the packaging I find is very bulky. That's my opinion. I, but the color is amazing. It gives me a nice color. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Then wait for it, wait for it. Like I just go like this, like, and there's like, it's on the brush and you'll see like, Okay, I don't, maybe you don't see it. But for me, when I put it on, like on camera, it's like, wow, like you go in layers. You don't swipe it back and forth because it has pigment. So here, okay, so I dipped it a lot just to show you. Okay, it's not noticeable on camera, but in person, it's like pigment. It's beautiful, this color. Yeah, and Okay, it doesn't show, my camera sucks. Here's a highlighter. So right here, it's beautiful. It's very subtle, so it's not like gloss, uh, glossy, like glitter bomb. 
And this is not like the highlight, uh, hi yeah, the highlighter, it's not a champagne shimmer. It's very similar in tone with the blush. It's like a peachy pink. A, oh no, something else for the cheeks, I forgot. I bought the By Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhan uh, Skin Enhancer uh, in medium. This is, it says an all over warming complexion tint. And this is so easy to use, basically foolproof. I just, I've been using this like every day um, just to give me a soft, like very soft glow or like some very soft sculpting. And I just use my, uh, my God, my sponge, uh, my, my beauty blender. And it just looks flawless and it's easy to blend. And the color is great. Like, oh, it's very thin. It's very a thin formula, but oh, I should have put it before. Okay, oh, I was right. Like here, you could see it, right? Like, don't want to ruin my face. This is the right color for me when, like, I'm paler, not as tanned. Spring, fall, winter. It looks so natural. Oh, there we go. So this is my fave bronzer that I'm using at the moment. Then, okay, now, now I'm on to lips. So for lips, I wanted to try Rose Ink and they had these lip pencils, uh, let's see. Yeah, lip pencils on sale. So I got the color Quartz. It's like a very muted pink and what is this called? 16. She looks like a rosy color. If you compare it to. Oh, it's a twist up. It's a twist up. So this one is quartz. This is quartz. Yeah. So this is quartz. Really applies smooth. So it's like a, yeah, a, a muted pink. Applies smoothly. Um, and I've already used this a couple of times and I do find it has, you know, pretty decent uh, wear time. Even after like eating or drinking. Ugh. And this is 16. Yeah, this is 16. So this is more of a, like a deeper rose color compared to this. So I'll show you on the lips. Apparently it's supposed to smooth your, your lips. But I love this color because on Rose, Rosy, oops, on Rosy, it's like, of course I don't have a freaking pillowy lips that are like out there, it's so gorgeous, that these colors, it's like, I want to imitate her. So 16 on the bottom. I'm gonna try 16 on the bottom, just to see what the difference is. Okay, well, now it doesn't look so... <gasps> I can tell the difference. They look the same. They're both like really bright colors right now that I'm looking at the screen. Hmm. So I have this one on top and this one on the bottom. Oops, now I mixed it. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> but uh, I think like the... The Jizu, you know, honey infused, and the perfume, uh, you've seen our perfume, would make great gifts. Cause, I don't know, I love the packaging and they smell so good. Okay, so that's it. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.